If you have an older Mercedes diesel 220D, 240D, or 300D that was made up to 1979 US model, let me ask you this question. You're looking at a series glow plug wiring setup from a 1979 300D. Now, would you rather have this right here or would you rather have this right here? You might, if you're not familiar with these types of glow plugs, you're probably thinking, oh, well, what's the big deal? Well, uh, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to realize it. That looks a lot simpler, and it is, and it is a lot more reliable as well. So if you have one of these older diesels, you can convert to this new system. Let me explain this more in detail. The original system in these cars uses these, what are called series or loop style glow plugs. Note here, they're wired in series, meaning that the power comes into the top of one, goes through the loop wire out here, onto the next one, all the way down through, through the loop, and through this resistance wire. Note here, there's two resistance wires in the system. That's to keep the voltage down because these glow plugs cannot tolerate real high voltage. And then the circuit is completed by going out of the top of this number one glow plug and grounds to the engine block. So as long as everything is working properly, you'll have power coming into the first plug and going through to each of the different plugs and to ground and everything will light and everything will be fine. But guess what happens when one of these loops burns out? Yep, that's right. It interrupts the circuit. So that's the primary disadvantage of the original system that you see here. The other thing is because they operate on a lower voltage, they take a lot longer to heat up. And if you've driven one of these old Mercedes with these old series glow plugs, you know how tired you get waiting for the glow plug light to heat up so that you can start the engine. So let's get rid of that and let's pull this in as a direct replacement. Notice right away that the resistor wires are eliminated and note that all glow plugs are connected in parallel and there's no ground wire. Each one of these glow plugs, the new style fast pencil glow plug, is grounded to the housing directly to the block. So when you put this system in, if any one of these glow plugs burns out, the others will continue to light for you. Also, because of the higher voltage element in these pencil style glow plugs, these will heat up much faster. And in some cases, you can start your engine in just five to 10 seconds of pre-glow cycle. <laughs> And for you old diesel owners, you know how nice that can be on a cold winter morning. So I'm going to highly recommend that you consider this upgrade if you have one of these diesels. And I also want to show you one other thing that you can add to your system to make it more efficient. If you do plan to make this upgrade on your own diesel, there's one thing I should caution you about. Remember the original system, particularly on the early 220 and 240D, was controlled by a pull starter. You know, you pull it out halfway and that lights the glow plugs and then pull it out the rest of the way to engage the starter. Beginning in 1975 on the 115-300D US model, they used a pre-glow timer relay. This timer relay is located under the dash right at the top of the steering column and using the key, this relay would activate the glow plugs. When you install the fast glow plug system upgrade in one of these older diesels, it will work using the pull starter or using the original relay. But I do need to warn you about one thing and that's current. Because of the higher voltage that is drawn using these newer fast glow plugs, you do not want to use extended glow times using your original pull starter or your original relay. You, you know, your dash light is probably not going to operate properly because it's a different system. So you do need to go to the count system. And for longevity of these parts, I recommend that you do not pre-glow for more than 10 seconds. In most cases, if you have a healthy engine, a 10 second pre-glow time using these fast glow plugs will be adequate to start your engine. Now let's say, hey, I don't want to use the relay, I don't want to use the pull starter. Yeah, I can use it to start the engine, but I don't really want to use it anymore to light the glow plug circuit if I'm doing this upgrade. What do I do? 
Uh, particularly if one of these early relays burns out, these are getting very hard to find and if you can find them, they are very, very expensive. You might not want to even bother trying to replace it. We offer what's called a manual override kit. Now this kit will allow you to mount a push button somewhere on your dash using a high amperage relay. You can run power directly from your battery to this relay, bypass your old relay, bypass this pull starter, and go directly from the battery to the relay to the glow plugs, controlling it by a button on the dash. This will allow you to pre-glow exactly how long you want the plugs to light and it can even allow you to continue to light the plugs even after the engine starts. This is a huge advantage, particularly if you have a tired engine with weak compression or you're operating on waste vegetable oil or it's very, very cold outside. If you can start the engine and continue to hold the button down up to 20 to 30 seconds after the engine starts, it will get that engine starting much more smoothly, which with much less smoke, I should say, and it'll run a lot smoother at startup. So that's another thing you can consider. If you are doing the fast glow upgrade, I highly recommend you put in the override kit so you can control it from the dash with a push button. Now, I really like this upgrade on my old diesels. So as winter approaches now, you know, let's get out there and make sure your glow plug system is working properly and consider an upgrade. You'll be amazed at how well they work.